Hey guys, it's Sahel here, and today we're going to be drawing a rain wing from Wings of Fire. So I've actually t attempted to record this a lot, and every time I've been interrupted by something, or there's been too much background noise, so this is take number six. Start with a blank sheet of paper, and draw a line down the center of it vertically. In the center of that line, draw a circle and another circle. This is your head and chest circle. So rain wings have long and slender necks, so try to incorporate that into your work. Don't make it too thin, otherwise it looks a little bit strange. Draw your head rectangle again and slope it down. On the bottom third of the head, draw your mouth line. I'm drawing my character here, smiling, because rain wings... I don't know, they just kind of smile all day. Where the mouth ends, draw a line. It should be around the center of the head. Draw a parallel S to complete the neck. Start shaping the shoulder. It should be a little bit boxy, but not too much. For the horns, Try to go straight and then curve, like the end of a tail, flicking upwards. Other people draw their horns in different ways. It's up to you to decide how you want to draw them. Your ear, go for another triangle. An incomplete triangle. And round off the cheek a little bit. Draw your first spine in for the frill. I'll do it in different colors so you can see. One in the middle of the ear, and one underneath the ear. Connect them with some webbing. Alright, now it's time to start our inking. So get out a darker pencil or an ink pen or just go another layer and start to develop the eye. Go with an arch and then develop the front and the back. You can choose how you want to draw your eyeballs, but you can use this style if you'd like. Uh, as long as you use it to learn, because I, even though, well, I guess I just don't want you guys all taking the style without adding your own creative little flair to it. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be called your own, would it? So emphasize the top a little bit and add back eyelash if you wish to make this character female. So I had them slope upwards a little bit and end tipped. And that is your basic eye shape. Add eyebrows if you'd like to. These help indicate more expression sometimes. Draw a straight line upwards to form the crest and have a slope backwards to the back of the eye. Draw a straight line forwards and make a divot and draw your horn. This is the snout horn. Now form the beak and draw another S to form the nostril line. Start curving the mouth line, or straight, if you want to do them that way. And complete the snout. Draw your nostril as a check mark filled in. And attach the nostril to the eyes. Erase any unnecessary lines and keep working. You can add the other crest in for the other eyeball. indicate a little bit of depth and start working on the bottom jaw. Alright, draw the pupil facing whichever direction you wish to. I'm going to have my character here stare backwards a little bit and trace over your horn lines. So make sure they always flick upwards, unless it's a hybrid and you can choose however you want to design the horns. Or it's just a unique character. Slim it down in places necessary. I think I added a little bit too much over here. Connect it to the head. And draw your ear triangle. And a curve in it. 
Now, start developing your spines a little more. They're just pointed a little bit. Depending on the character's expression, you can have them pointing slightly upwards or slightly downwards. Downwards would be depressed, calm, or just neutral, and pointing upwards would be excited, happy, angry, shocked, surprised. Connect them with webbing and to the horn if you would wish to. Now trace over your necklines. It should start in the middle of the head, the jaw. Be no thicker than the distance from the bottom of the jaw to the top of the head. And draw your arms. Now make a line parallel to the bottom of the neck and this defines the underbelly. Now draw another one parallel to that. This bit's a little bit hard for me sometimes because it, it never comes out quite right. Still trying to go it. And now just clean up the lines you don't need. Now draw your semi oval on the arms and develop them a little bit more by layering them. Repeat for the other arm. Start drawing the rain wing spines. They're kind of flat, like sky wing spines. But I like to have them bend backwards a little bit so they make room for the next spine in line. Next spine in line, that's an interesting phrase. All right, you can start adding the circle scales if you wish to. I like to go in an order of big, small, big, small, but you can choose however you want to draw them. Erase your sketch lines, and now you can start to add a little bit of detail. Go in with a thinner brush and add some grooves to the crest above the eye. Change direction at the end of the eye so that they have a nice rounded effect. You can also add these grooves to the underbelly. Try to have them all facing one direction so that they look a little more organized. There you go. That's your brain wing bust line art tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if it helped you draw your character or a friend's character or anything really. Which tribe do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments.